to the drawing board for developers who want to build an apartment complex in downtown Lake Oswego. Now, that proposed development is a hot button issue with people who live in that area. It's located where the old Wiser grocery store was on A Avenue between 1st and 2nd Streets, and that's where Tim Becker spent the day getting answers about why this project has hit a snag. Tim? Yeah, Jenny, this is the block we're talking about here, starting up at the corner there, and then you walk all the way down here, down to the end there, and then about another 100 yards back behind this old building here. This is where a developer wants to build a 228-unit apartment complex. Trouble is, this particular piece of land is, uh, well, it's on an area that was originally laid out to be part of the retail commercial core of downtown Lake Oswego. That's just part of why the developer pulled back a couple of nights ago from an issue that has, well, look at this, even made its way into the pop culture around here. 228 apartments and condos. Even in song, they ask. Where we gonna park? Where we gonna walk? How we gonna relax? I'm here to just kind of get some answers here. So I did too, minus the melody. Why is this one such a hot button issue? I think because of the sheer size and density of the proposal. The plan called for 290,000 square feet of residential space with another 28,000 square feet for retail, a ratio not in line with the city design plan. The four blocks along First Street uh, were designed in the urban design plan in the 90s uh, to be the retail commercial core of our downtown. Our goal was to create a long-lasting, timeless project within the code. When developer Pat Kessy took his proposal to the Development Review Commission, the meeting drew a packed house. People for... That's something that you can't get anywhere else in Lake Oswego uh, if you're looking for a rental apartment. And against the project like Jim Bolin. It feels like the system worked to me. He and others ultimately convinced the Review Commission that the proposed development simply doesn't work. It looks like it misses the boat. I mean, I'm sorry guys, but I'm really having a problem with that. Were there inherent code violations in the mock-up that they had drawn? Just being too high, the fifth floor, things like well, that? Well, they were fine height-wise, okay. but the, uh, the DRC found that the code uh, does not allow five stories. Well, I spoke with a city planner a couple of hours ago, and he tells me the developer is aware of all the codes that were in place. He had actually applied for several exceptions, but was turned down for those. Rather than scrap the project altogether, they have asked for a chance to rework it. And in a statement they just sent me right here, they say they remain committed to making this project a success. So that's why they're back to the drawing board. We're going to be sure and stay on top of this issue for you. For, for now, reporting live in Lake Oswego, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.